Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Cooper Space Program. This is Designs of the Week episode 22. And we are starting off with Rover Vehicle. Alright, so this is Rover Vehicle Mark 1. It is a huge manned rover. And you usually just EVA a Kerbal and get him to walk up to here and click F because there are ladders there where he can uh, grab onto. And it is a very nice design. If you press number one, right, all these solar panels will uh, toggle. And yes, that works nicely. And I do have quite a few of these rechargeable battery packs, whatever else they're called. Uh, we do have a lot of lights because I'm trying to make this look like a car. Although it doesn't look like a car at all, but still, <laughs> looks nice. Press one to toggle that. And let's drive it. More ho ho ho. Yes. And if you want to take a look inside, uh, that's all it is. We do have a uh, strut block, as what I call them. And yeah, everything is connected to the strut block. So 11 meters per second. Yeah, it should reach about 12. I think that's the max speed. And remember, this is a very heavy design. Don't even try to get this onto the moon because you will be unsuccessful. Don't even try to get it into space unless you have some sort of mod. Like a hyper edit that could do something good. That could help you out. And I've placed these random things here. Right, so the circular intake, the uh, separatron, no, separator. Uh, parachutes, RCS, just just for looks. So that's it, no other reason. And yeah, 11.9 meters per second is the maximum max speed. Oh no, no, we turn right, goes faster. 13.5. All right, that is pretty good. But everything seems to be going well, so yeah, that's that design. Next design. This is the MK3 COD VTOL Mark 1. And it is a VTOL, yes. We just throttle up and wait for the thrust to increase. Turn on RCS because you definitely need to have that on VTOLs. And there we go. Pretty simple, yes. Let's try and move it around. Yeah. Come on, stabilize. If you're wondering why I haven't uploaded for a week, it's because my computer <laughs> wasn't working well. It is stable. Uh, I should have put parachutes on it. I guess I forgot that. We've run out of RCS fuel. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. This thing is probably doomed if I don't control it correctly. I'm just going to try and land it on the building. Still falling. Okay. And uh, yeah, now we're fine. No, we're not. We are not fine. Alright, throw up again. Okay, I won't be able to land on a building because we don't have a parachute. But that's okay. That's pretty much it for this design. It's a basic design. I think it looks cool. That's why I've done this this sort of effect here. As you can see, that looks cool. In my opinion. Others might say something else. Uh, we have lights. Illuminators. Is what they're called. I haven't tested them out before. Yeah, they are working. Look at that on the ground. We can see a square. Uh, lift, lift. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. You know what? Just land it. Let's just land it. Who would have thought? Land it, land it, land it. Land it. Oh, come on. Fall down. Now throttle up. Full throttle. Don't smash. Hey, we survived. If you survive, it's all good. No worries. Okay, but I did need a parachute on that design. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is the Mars Rover. I know the actual rover in real life has a particular name, but uh, yeah, let's just call this Mars Rover. And it does have a bit of an acceleration there. Right. 
Nice. Hope these wills don't get damaged. They probably will. Oh well. And let's just drive it around. We have lights, as you can see. Ah, oh, look, damaged. Huh. But you know what's good with this design? Is even if it does get damaged, you can still drive it around. Yeah. That is cool. That was a... V oh, no, you can't really... No, okay, we're good. Huh. We survived that one. I am surprised. Wait, did we run out of... Wait, what happened to the lights? Oh, there they are. Huh. This wasn't working properly. I think it was just the ground. This is Neris Mark 1. It is a VTOL and very good when it comes to controlling it. So we have those that. We have the fuel hidden inside there. So it's a Rocket Max fuel tank, the small, the mini one. And we have these uh, Poodle liquid fuel engines. And yeah, this you can actually control this quite well. As long as you have RCS on, of course. Look at that. Death, throw it down. Like that. Yeah, look how good that is. Very easy to control. Even I was surprised. <laughs> and uh, I've got something special for my Mun base as well. I've got something really, really cool, actually. I'm surprised I even thought of it. You will see when it comes out. Probably in about a week's time, because it's going to take a while to build a base. And this is... is it doomed? No, it's not, because we have parachutes. Yes, parachutes are going to save us. And this is... it's going on with the controls here. Wait, 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 there we go. See? Easily to control. Very easy. Alright, just move forward. Throttle down. Move. Move. Can I land on a building? I can. That should do it. Turn it around, throttle up, front forward, turn. Uh, I don't know about that. Little bit more. That should no, that won't do it. There we go. That will do it. Now, throttle up, throttle up, then smash. Well, that was bound to happen anyway. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. That is the end of this video. Uh, next video, I'll just tell you what we're going to have. We're having Sparrowhawk, Wall-E, and Zakos ship. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and see you next time.